Hey guys, I just thought I'd make a quick video here for you today because I'm still not feeling that good I'm actually fighting a pretty nasty uh, bacterial infection, but hopefully I come right soon And it was just going to talk about the different uh, thermal paste techniques or methods uh, For applying it in regards to Ryzen CPUs more specifically the Ryzen 7 1700 or basically any Ryzen 7 CPU for that matter because those are uh, eight core CPUs and they're sort of um, like they're essentially like two quad core CPUs put together um, on it on a single chip and linked together with AMD's infinity fabric so it makes them a bit different to Intel's mainstream lineup which isn't like that so I just thought it'd be something interesting to do so of course we tested with the Ryzen 7 1700 on the ASUS X370 Prime Pro motherboard which I'll be reviewing probably next week sometime now, uh, cooler-wise, you just use the stock AMD Spire cooler, and thermal paste-wise, I use the Arctic Silver 5, which is pretty good stuff. I quite like it, actually. It's a good thermal paste. So I did uh, four tests. So we want to do no thermal paste whatsoever to give us our baseline. Then I want to do the more traditional um, uncooked grain of rice, single grain of rice, right in the middle of the CPU. That's what a lot of people do. Then I was going to bring you the Tech City Special, the even layer. That's something a lot of people also do, even layer across the entire CPU. And then we'll do the guy that's maybe brand new to building a computer, the excessive amount. Someone who puts on just way, way, way too much thermal paste. So I thought I would do those four. Now I tested both at the stock speeds and overclocked to 4 GHz at 1.4 volts. And for the stress testing, I used IDA64's CPU stress test for three minutes. So, as you can see with the results, with no thermal paste, it's not very good at stock. You know, that's a bit high for stock speeds, but it's terrible when it's overclocked. That's just shocking. And then as you see, the other three, it's it's pretty even, you know, it's within the margin of error. The overclock results are more important because that's when it's putting out uh, more heat. So, yeah, but it's all within the margin of error. Basically, all I take from that is that using more like the excessive amounts doesn't add anything if anything it seemed to be uh, making it worse so what do we take from it basically I would just say use the uh, uncooked grain of rice method as that's the easiest makes the less least amount of mess um, just do that and chuck your cooler on top and you'll be just fine so that method still stands up and that is the method I would recommend do not put more than that on because you're not helping it's not making it better and if anything it might actually make it a little bit worse i thank you all for watching this quick video i hope you guys uh can forgive me for um you know this bit of slowdown in content but i'll be back on my feet very soon i thank you all for watching i'll see you guys next time